Hi, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant, and today we're going to learn how to make a good black tea. Now, if you're looking to make the best black tea you can make, you're going to need two things. One is you're going to need loose leaf black tea, which is tea that does not come in a tea bag, and you're going to need a French press or a tea press. Basically, the combination of these two elements will take your average cup of black tea to an excellent cup of black tea. Let's get started. First, what we're going to do is you're going to take two to three teaspoons of your loose leaf black tea. Now, we're only going to be making a half of the carafe today for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to take a one and a half teaspoon of my loose leaf black tea and place it in my tea press or French press. After you've done that, then what we're going to do is we're going to add hot boiling water to the black tea. So we're going to take our hot boiling water and add that to the black tea. Now something to keep in mind with black tea is black tea can become very bitter by oversteeping it. And steeping simply means uh, the process of allowing the tea to sit in the hot water, which is infusing the flavor of the tea into the water. So you're definitely going to either want to set a timer or keep your eye on the time and only allow your black tea to, to steep for about one to one and a half minutes. After that time, you're then going to take your plunger and you're going to press down to separate the loose leaf tea from the liquid. Once you've pressed down on your tea press and you have the, the tea liquid that's ready to be served, if you're also looking for a way to spice up or spruce up your black tea to make a good cup of black tea, you can add some cream and sugar. Now we all know cream and sugar make everything taste a little better, so today I'm going to add two teaspoons of sugar and about a teaspoon of, or teaspoon or two of cream to the beverage. Then I'm going to pour in my hot tea. And I add those ingredients first because it actually helps them to blend in better with the tea. Once you've got your tea in the cup, you can stir that around to make sure that all of the sugar dissolves appropriately throughout the beverage. And you have yourself a good cup of black tea. Again, my name is Joey Papa and I'm a coffee consultant.